Ladies and gentlemen, your official introductions for this and the back. First of all, standing to my left in the blue corner. He is 25 years of age, stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall, and weighing in at 65.8 kilograms. He hails from Nottingham, and he represents Leicester Shoot Fire. Across the cage in the red corner. This fighter is 25 years of age, stands at 5 foot 6 inches tall, and weighing in at 65 kilograms. He hails from Brazil and represents Team Wussler. Put your hands together for Tiago Massino. His bow is held over three five-minute rounds. Final instructions from the referee. On paper, this looks like a good fight. We have Sabig Singh from Leicester Shoot Fighters and Thiago Macedo from the Wolf Slayer. I remember Thiago from the last show. I remember, yeah, he'd had um, a lot of losses nice coming into trip. the fight and uh, was much, much better than his record suggested. Yeah, I think his losses have been to very good guys. He's got a lot of experience. He certainly knows what he's doing. Levo screaming for him to get right under hook at the moment, he just seems to have to hold on. I think he's wearing the elbows from uh, Thiago. Oh, Thiago, this is great bounce, looking to pass here, he's getting his hips up high. Oh, and he's got the neck. How deep is that sunk? I think he's, he, he seems to have that guillotine. Yeah, he's locking, up, he's locking up the body. So the big seems to really manage to move his body out of it. If Thiago can keep the body locked up and extend, he's going to finish this guillotine. I think his beard could be defending it quite well as well there, Andy. Yeah, I think that could defend a few punches too. He doesn't look in that much danger there. He's, no, he's, he's looking to his corner for help. Thiago could be wasting energy holding on to that. Sebeg needs to relax and just follow his corner instructions as he is. And the referee may stand them up if this doesn't move from here. Yeah, he really doesn't look to his stern. He does need to be careful not to turn into it though. It's popped out there. Now we'll see what the guard works like from uh, Thiago. He's holding the posture high. Sue Biggs obviously brought a lot of um, support with him. Crowd very vocal for this one. I'm feeling the referee's going to stand this up because there's not much going on to advanced position here. Yeah, I think Mark will stand it up shortly. Subic making a, an attempt to strike there. Yeah, I'd like to see... Um, Thiago striking off the bottom as well. If he's not going to go for submissions, he should be striking off the bottom or at least trying to stand back up. Yeah, referee's done the right thing there, standing up. Good call there from Bart Woodard. 
very experienced referee. Good kicks from Zabeg. Both exchanging decent strikes. Both, both firing kicks to the head. And the Superman punch on the left hook. Thiago. Very unorthodox strike in them there from Thiago. Oh, nice knees. I think he could, one of those knees could have winded him, you know. Yeah, finding some good elbow strikes. Be careful well. those elbows aren't in the back of the head. Been a good round so far. Yeah. Subic's, uh on Spain top now. To his head up. Let these shots go from big, big shots. You could do with pinning one arm and letting one arm go striking. And maybe even work a knee to the body again. Oh, this is better. Going to the end of the round. Oh, excellent round. Good round. Action packed. That was a five minute round with non stop action. I'm looking forward to the next one. What advice would you be given if you were in the corner of uh, Thiago? I'd probably just encourage him to uh, to work more from underneath, try and get out, get uh, get up to his feet again, uh, where it was fairly evenly matched, or to um, or to just try and work submissions. I think he's got um, a, a good grasp of the ground game, so he, he should be firing submissions from underneath, working even to just reverse and get a better position. Well, that's a big. I think uh, carrying on doing the uh, a, a similar thing, maybe um, like not risking his neck in the uh, in the guillotines and just uh, working. But he handled it well. I think he's uh, he's got a decent all-round game by the looks of things. Both fighters look ready for this round. Both strong fighters for the uh, 6 6 kilo weight division. Featherweight. Yeah, they both look good. Yeah, both explosive. slip then, I think. Um, it's a big now on his back. Close guard. Let's see if he's going to attempt some sort of missions. Referee already calling for a stand up quite quickly. Maybe just encouraging the guys to work or get, get going straight away. Yeah, neither fire doing much. I think Suvegg's holding on from the bottom. Thiago's struggling to get free to advance any sort of position. After a high paced first round, I think they're just taking a little bit of a rest here. Thiago just winning the round though with um, the takedown is working away from top position. Sabig needs to do something really to, um, to take this round. Putting that in a better. couple of elbows to the top of the head now from That's underneath. Yeah, elbow again to the top of the head. Thiago trying to work away with little strikes as well. Yeah. His corner telling him to elbow to the top of the head. It's the right thing to do, it's good advice. Should also be looking to attack for submissions. Even climb his legs up.
Thiago not really doing anything himself though. He's not getting posture up. He's not passing guard. He's not sticking him in the fence. Yeah, I was expecting a, a little he's more. He's not washed his shorts. <laughs> The stain's in a, a, a pretty bad place as well, for the colour of it. Yeah, the referee doing the right thing, standing it up now. I'd like to see some more powerful kicks coming from Sabeg here. Yeah, some powerful striking. Good body, good body attack, good elbow to the head. Oh, finishing the he fight it was a groin strike very explosive he said there. it was a groin Zerg. strike I don't know whether it was from our angle it's hard to see I don't know whether the referee is saying that that was a uh, a foul or or not no, it looked like it was to the body to me I don't think this. Uh, I don't think Thiago wants to continue. I thought that actually landed to the body and uh, he'd won the fight, but looks more like he's claiming a foul, a groin shot. It's a bit disappointing. Oh, that was absolutely disgusting. He managed to he managed to sit up, and his corner told him to lie back down. <laughs> if he quits from here, it's ridiculous. That way it disgraces at all the good work he's put in up until this point. We've seen someone take a, a heavy grind shot earlier on and continue. I think that I, I'd like to see a replay of that, but I'm uh, I'm not sure that that landed to the grind. I think he was just under a lot of pressure and. Uh, at his corner have told him to stay down. The medics are in there. After five minutes he might he might want to continue. Let's hope so. And get a proper end into this fight. Not sure what's gonna happen uh, what sort of conclusion we're gonna have to this fight. The fight looks fine on the floor now talking with the corner and the medic ladies and gentlemen unfortunately there was a foul blow landed towards the end of that round the referee has decided that this was an accidental blow, so therefore he has given us the decision of a no contest, a no contest. <laughs>